Hi, this is Jessica from Jessica Wanderers, and this is week number six of my $21 a week, $3 a day grocery challenge that I'm doing primarily on my stovetop. I'm not using the oven and I'm not using the microwave or any big appliance. This is what I got this week. I also carry over groceries from the previous week and if you missed that video, I'll put a link in the description to see what I had left at the end of last week. And if you want to follow the entire challenge, I'll also leave a link to, to the playlist so that you can watch from the beginning. So this is what I got. I went to one, two, three, five different stores today. I went grocery shopping hungry. So I've got kind of an impulse buy <laughs> or two, two really, two impulse buys. First I went to Dollarama. I spent $2 and seven cents. I got this sugar and these sliced mushrooms. Sugar was a buck 25. The sliced mushrooms were 82 cents. I went to Superstore. I got two zucchinis. Sorry, the two zucchinis were a uh, buck 90. That's more than I thought I was going to spend on them. This um, nor bush. You got to look all over the store for this particular nor beef bouillon cubes and they were a buck 28. The uh, fish sauce uh, was also a dollar 28 uh, the Roma tomatoes were 77 cents <laughs> this garlic this is one of my impulse buys I couldn't turn this down for some reason it was only 44 cents that was one of my impulse buys I went to save on foods I got a free cucumber with my points and I got a shallot for 48 cents more packets I went to Freshco and I got this pasta sauce for 97 cents and then I got some vinegar for 97 cents as well. And finally I went to Walmart. I got uh, some cornstarch in for 217. And then I got this like broccoli slaw for a buck 97. I got ground beef is still on for a great price. And for $2.47, I got some ginger. That was just confusing. They didn't call it ginger, they called it garlic. I'm not sure if they were the same price. I got one banana as well for 29 cents. I got these mixed vegetables for 97 cents. And I got this great value natural peanut butter for $2.97. And then my second impulse buy was this baguette. It's a whole wheat multi-grain baguette for 70 cents. I couldn't resist. <laughs> and then they overcharged me on it. So they charged me for 94 cents for a regular baguette. If you see, baguette was originally 94 cents. So I had to go back in and get my 24 cents off. That is everything that I picked up for this week. Good morning. This morning I'm going to try to turn these ingredients into Irish soda bread. I have two and a half cups of all purpose flour. I've got one and a half teaspoons of coarse salt. I've got one teaspoon of baking soda. I'm gonna mix all these dry ingredients really well. So the problem that I have this week is that I don't have any milk. This recipe calls for buttermilk, curdled milk. I do have some of this plain yogurt left over. It's got a bittery yogurt, plain yogurt flavor anyways, and buttermilk has kind of had that acidic, acidic flavor. So I topped it up to one cup, and to the one cup, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of the vinegar. I'm gonna let that sit for a little while, maybe five minutes. After about five minutes, it doesn't look like it really curdled at all. I'm gonna give it a try. Gonna add about three quarters of the milk. Kind of slowly start to try to bring it together. Keep mixing and see where we get. So this is what I have, it's still pretty wet dough. I'm gonna turn it out onto a floured surface. Just gonna knead this a few times, make it form into sort of a, a ball. Okay, now we're going to flatten it out into about an inch. 
flat. I did have to use a fair amount of flour to sort of keep it from sticking. I'm gonna use a sharp knife and cut an X in this. Sprinkled some flour in the pan and I'm gonna cook it for 10 minutes uncovered. I feel a bit like I'm cooking a pancake. It doesn't seem to be doing too much. This is like watching grass grow. Bread is such a hopeful process. You hope that you mix the ingredients properly and that it does an amazing thing for you. In one minute, um, I'm gonna flip this and that's what it looks like on the other side. I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna turn this down sort of as low as it will possibly go. Put the cover on and leave it for another 10 minutes. That's what it's looking like. It smells pretty good. Okay, I am going to flip it the last time and then cook it again for another 10 minutes. It hasn't uh, rised rose very much. It's really starting to smell like an Irish soda bread in here though. So that's after the final flip. Just a, I don't know if that sounds hollow or not. I mean, it feels pretty crispy and golden brown. So that could be it. And there it is, this Irish soda bread. I'm gonna break it open. It is a very dense bread. That is the inside of it. Oh, it looks really good. It smells just like Irish soda bread. Uh, just like baked bread. I'm gonna cut it in half and I'm gonna put some peanut butter on it. This great value, natural peanut butter very thin and it kind of tastes like a watered down version just saying so there is my peanut butter on irish soda bread toast for this morning for a couple of lunches i'm going to have like a salad a garden salad so i don't have any dressing this week and i do have this white vinegar i'm gonna make up some oil and vinegar dressing this is one teaspoon of salt i'm gonna use half a teaspoon of pepper and three quarters a cup of oil and a quarter cup of vinegar. Obviously, if you had any other kind of vinegar, like a balsamic vinegar or a red wine vinegar, it would obviously be good. I'm gonna shake it up and let it sit. This is what it looks like. I am happy to have so many vegetables this week. I'm gonna make up a couple of uh, salads for lunch today and lunch tomorrow. There's one salad for lunch and another salad that made two salads. I'm so excited about the number of veggies in here. I used about a half of a zucchini for both and a half of the cu half of the cucumber. I used one Roma tomato for both and I still have lettuce left over. I'm gonna try out this dressing, maybe three of these spoonfuls of dressing. Tonight I'm gonna make like a, like a Salisbury steak type meal. I'm gonna put a patty with um, some mushroom gravy over rice with some veggies. In this rice that I have, they say for four servings, cook one cup of rice and one cup of water. A quarter cup of rice is just not enough. A third of a cup of rice rather than a quarter cup. This is the Walmart ground beef out of the tube. I'm gonna take about a quarter of it, make a patty. A couple of weeks ago when I made English muffins in the challenge, I had one English muffin left over and I left it out to dry and it's pretty crispy. Now I'm gonna grind it up with my USB charged grinder. You're sure if you're following the, ch the channel, you've seen it before. And that's the breadcrumbs that it makes. I'm gonna add some to this ground beef to make the patty, just frying up the patty. While that's cooking, I'm going to make some mushroom type gravy. I'm gonna add one of these beef bouillon cubes and one cup of water. I'm gonna use about half of this can of mushrooms. Just gonna give them a quick fry. I'm gonna heat up about half of this can of mixed vegetables. We're gonna add the mushrooms to this gravy, or not gravy yet, just broth. Now I'll add some cornstarch to thicken this up. And I'm just heating up some veggies. 
And there's my Salisbury steak dinner. That's a more substantial amount of rice this time. I think that's lots of gravy. Good morning. This morning, I'm gonna make a couple of meals of dust fried egg on well, toast. I'm gonna to cut it in half. Um, and I'm gonna fry up my eggs in some bacon fat. And I'll top maybe one with ketchup. I might try some paprika on the egg, see how that tastes, and salt and pepper. Oh, two eggs, just gonna add some salt. This is the bread, I'm gonna put it in a pan and see if I can toast it at all. So I got a little bit of toast on these. This is my fried egg on Irish soda bread with two packets of ketchup. I made another breakfast. I sprinkled it with some paprika. We'll see if it tastes good. That's two meals, eggs on Irish soda bread. For dinner tonight, I'm gonna to try to combine these ingredients into a, a pad thai of sorts. I don't have any noodles, but I'm gonna use uh, rice instead. I've got this coleslaw vegetable mix. I've got these peppers left over, frozen peppers left over from last week. A little bit of vinegar, peanut butter, some sugar, soy sauce, sriracha mayo. This is fish sauce, some oil, uh, a shallot, some garlic, one egg, and then I'm going to use this paneer instead of like a tofu or something. First, I'm going to mix up the pad thai sauce. I'm using about one and a half tablespoons of fish sauce about half a tablespoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon of vinegar. Now, if you have like a rice vinegar or something like that, that would be better. About a half a tablespoon of the sriracha mayo. Obviously I would want sriracha, but I have sriracha mayo, so that's what's gonna work. Two tablespoons of sugar, brown sugar would be better. And about one tablespoon of peanut butter. This is about half the package of paneer that I had, just diced up small. Dice some garlic, sliced some onion, and I'm gonna whisk up this egg. I'm gonna heat some oil in the pan. I'm gonna add these peppers, about half of what I have left. I'm gonna add some of this coleslaw uh, mix, add the garlic and the onions, and the paneer. Just gonna wanna break that up into little pieces. Then I'm going to add this rice and the sauce uh, to the mix. I'm going to add the sauce. Instantly smells like peanutty goodness. Added my rice in. So here's my pad thai dinner. That's one dinner. Made two servings. Pretty big servings. I'd say it doesn't look like classic pad thai, obviously. It doesn't have noodles and it's got paneer in it. It does have a pad thai taste though that peanutty, rich fish sauce taste. I think that it could have used a lot more heat and I could have probably doubled the sauce. For lunch today, I'm gonna to make a wrap, a peanut butter banana wrap, and I'm gonna make one for tomorrow too. I have half a banana per wrap. I'm gonna put a generous amount of peanut butter on each wrap. There we go. I'm just gonna roll them up and eat them for lunch. Good morning. This morning I'm gonna have oatmeal for breakfast and I'm gonna have oatmeal for three breakfasts. I have this tiny bit of leftover coconut milk that I'm going to add just to give it a little more flavor. And then I've got, of course, syrup to put on it. Uh, leftover coconut milk. So I made three breakfasts of oatmeal. Gonna add syrup with the coconut milk. I can smell the coconut milk. I'm just gonna put some ingredients together for a cucumber salad to have with dinner tonight. Let it sit for a while. So I've got cucumber. I'm gonna take a tiny bit of this shallot. I've got the vinegar, which will probably be quite strong. Um, this is sugar, not yogurt. So 
I'm gonna add some sugar and some salt, and then I'm gonna put it in the fridge until dinner tonight. Put some salt on it, some sugar, and I'll add some vinegar. Vinegar, if you had some better vinegar, like a red wine vinegar or something like that, you could add that and let it sit in the fridge for a while. For dinner tonight, I'm also going to prep a third of a cup of rice. I am gonna to try to make up some kind of Asian rice bowl. I've got a bunch of ginger, I've got this quarter pound of beef, I've got rice that I'm cooking, I've got this sriracha mayo, some garlic, this shredded coleslaw mix, soy sauce, salt and pepper, and then, oh, and this um, little bit of onion that I'm gonna use a bit of. I did raid my packet drawer and I found these plum sauces. And maybe I'll add some paprika because I put that in everything, right? I almost forgot, I'm gonna also add most of the rest of these frozen green peppers. Gonna add some salt and pepper. Gonna add a bit of water, see if I can't steam those vegetables off. And some soy sauce. Smells like Asian flavors. The ginger, the soy sauce. I'm gonna add these packets of plum sauce. I'm gonna add some cornstarch just to thicken that sauce up a bit. For some rice, then the beef mix, and some cucumber salad to finish it off. I've got leftover cucumber salad. I think probably I might put some of this aside. Oatmeal for breakfast this morning. This is a lunch that I'm having with the leftover beef Asian beef bowl. For dinner tonight, I'm gonna have spaghetti with garlic bread, for this pasta sauce, this half a pound of ground beef. I'm gonna use up what's left of these peppers, this shallot leftover. I've got these canned mushrooms leftover, this half of one zucchini, spaghetti noodles. And I'm gonna turn this garlic and this butter and try to make some kind of garlic bread. So I've got the garlic and the onions, I forgot. I'll add paprika, because it's the only spice I have. I put that in everything. And I'm gonna add the rest of these peppers, these mushrooms. And this ground beef. I put some of the marinara sauce, or this pasta sauce aside. I'm gonna add the rest to the pot. I also rinsed out the jar and I'm saving the liquid. Not really sure how I'm gonna make this garlic bread. So I'm gonna to try to toast the bread in a large fry pan. When this is toasted, I'll just brush the garlic butter on it. That is the last of the butter. Making up some kind of garlic butter. <laughs> Here's my spaghetti with pasta sauce and my garlic bread. The only thing that I would like is maybe some cheese for on top that I don't have. But on that, that's spaghetti dinner for three dinners. I'm gonna take this uh, vegetable bouillon. I had some tomato uh, left over in the can that I rinsed out. I've got these uh, canned vegetables. I'm gonna have uh, this or half of this with it. I'm gonna break these up into tiny little noodles, some of these. And then I have this roasted mashed potato powder left over. I'm gonna add it to the soup. A little more water. Gonna add a lot of pepper. I broke up a bunch of pasta noodles into small pieces. I wasn't sure if it was gonna make two servings, but it definitely did. This is beef vegetable noodle soup for two meals for lunch for today and tomorrow. Two slices of bread, crackers in my soup, so I just ripped up some of the bread and put it in my soup. I don't like the canned vegetables. I didn't enjoy them in the first meal um, that I had them just plain by themselves, but in soup, they're just fine.
Today, I'm already at lunch and I didn't have any breakfast. I've been super busy doing next week's groceries and stuff. I didn't eat breakfast. I could have had oatmeal if I wanted to, or could have had some peanut butter on bread, but I didn't. So yeah, I just didn't have breakfast this morning. <laughs> This is everything that I have left at the end of this week. It's quite a bit, we'll go through it. I have my soy sauce still left, the oil, obviously salt and pepper, paprika. I've got some yeast, baking soda. I have one uh, like Ichiban Mr. Noodle soup packet, chicken. I have this um, bacon grease, cornstarch um, syrup. This is that salad dressing that I made that just oil and vinegar salad dressing with this vinegar. I saved some marinara and then I didn't use it. So that's just pasta sauce, coleslaw mix, cabbage and carrots and stuff. Still some pasta noodles, some bouillon cubes, a couple of ketchup and vinegar packets, this amount of lettuce, this tomato, this a little bit of cucumber, this whole zucchini, this uh, one piece of that our source bread that I that I made, I just have had it in the freezer. This is the natural peanut butter. This whole thing is sugar. I just put the sugar in there, but this wouldn't fit. So this is all sugar, not yogurt. All sugar. A tiny amount of flour left over, maybe down around here, amount of flour. This fish sauce that I just recently got. This butter chicken mix. I didn't use it at all this week. Did I say sriracha? Also oh, sriracha mayo long lasting sriracha mayo and then all my dry goods these black beans some lentils some rice and some oats and that is everything that is left over after the end of week six that is the end of week six i think it was a pretty successful week i think only one meal the first salisbury steak meal that i didn't enjoy that much i felt like the patty was really bland and the canned vegetables were not good um so that one I, I didn't consider a real win but I did enjoy the mushroom gravy so that was pretty good everything else seemed really good I liked the bread this week so thank you guys for continuing to watch my videos and um I'm super excited actually to continue this ongoing grocery challenge uh this it's, it's a lot of fun. And I, I think that I'm actually am accumulating groceries, even though I have to buy flour again, I think some things are running out going into week seven, but that's to be expected. I think, I feel like I'm building up my pantry and that was the entire goal and I'm gonna keep going. So thanks for watching. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe for more grocery challenge videos. Thanks guys.